We are at Chicago Auto Pros in Glenview, Illinois, with one of the most professional gentlemen I've ever <laughs> met, Jason. He is the owner of one of the two locations here, and we are here to do a Tech Wednesday video on the science and necessity of window tinting. Necessity, yes. You like that? Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. So there's a ton of different types of window tint. Mm -hmm. We're not going to cover all of that, all the different brands, but you work specifically with exclusively with one brand. Yes. Lumar. Okay. And yep. why, why have you chosen Lumar? When we first started doing window tint, uh, we started with a few different brands. We wanted to test the film out there and Lumar just came out on top because of their customer service. I mean, they were there when we needed them. They were always calling to make sure that we had everything we needed, and that just made us feel really comfortable, and that's why we chose Lumar. Okay. So in a lot of these tech videos, what you're going to find is we're going to talk about service, customer service support. That's a huge thing when you're spending a lot of money on something, mm -hmm. something that you don't particularly get when you're younger, but when you start feeding cash into hobbies, um, like I talk about with electronics, if I buy something and I'm spending thousands of dollars on it, if I can't get support, parts, customer service on something, it almost makes it disposable. So this is something that we've talked about. Lumar has, what, 4,000 plus dealer networks or installer networks across the U.S. So if somebody yeah. comes to you, you install film, they move, or you, you change your business, you go right. under whatever, there's other companies there to support that product that you put on your car, and that's super important. Absolutely. So that, that's the main thing, and that's one of the main reasons why you use Lumar as a manufacturer. Absolutely, and the quality and performance of the film. Okay, so let's get into this. There's a lot of discussion about window tint. Some people just think it's for gang members. I've heard that before. I'm like, oh, I'm getting my windows tinted. They're like, oh, isn't that what gang members do? No, it's not just for that. It's for more than that. And explain to the viewers why you would tint your car. Yeah, there's lots of benefits to window tint. The two main ones that people normally get window tint for are privacy and aesthetics. So privacy, obviously, if you have valuables in the car that you want to hide, if you want to hide you know, picking your nose or yeah, you want to hide your hot girlfriend. <laughs> that's really common. I can't tell you how many times I see people just d digging out nose nuggets <laughs> or like I have a Pomeranian that I, I carry with me and I don't want people knowing about her. <laughs> yes. so, so what else? Uh, pro uh, it makes it look cool. Aesthetics, you know, uh, a car window tint looks a lot better than a car without window tint. Yeah, and I think that's something interesting about it, and you'll see this at car shows. If you've ever been to car shows, like manufacturer car shows, where there's prototype cars, they typically will completely black out the car, and yep. there is a cool factor to it, and a lot of that's done because the interiors aren't finished and they don't want you to see on the inside. But on a, a production car, specific colors look great with it. Absolutely. And a lot of other benefits with window tint that a lot of people don't think about, a big one is safety, UV reduction. You know, UV rays cause cancer, melanoma. 100,000 cases in the U.S. last year alone. So when you think about your car, it doesn't have any window tints. Even factory tinted back glass on SUVs has a, a tint to it, but it doesn't block UV rays. Okay, so there's the connection between driving and, and exposure to that driver's side in America. So window tint will block those UV rays, and 99% of them. <laughs> Dead fucking sad. I don't know what to say. Like, I want to be like, whoa! <laughs> Holy shit! So aside from that, there's aesthetics that, what else do we have? You have uh, energy reduction. So the heat, the infrared light, the sun emits. You know, so if you think about the sun and the rays that are coming off the sun, 3% are UV, 45% are the visual light. You don't feel those at all. What you do feel is about 53% of the infrared light that comes off the sun, and that's the heat. So putting on these higher end films will actually block a lot of the infrared heat that's coming into your car.
All right, let's get into the meat and potatoes of the film. Now we have this little wheel here. This is really great visual aid because it does show you the difference between the films. And this is all 35%, correct? Yeah. So legal yeah. limit in Illinois. Yep. All right, so explain what we have. So you're gonna feel the difference here. So this is an infrared bulb in there and you can feel the heat. So if you put this on, no tint, turn it on, stick your hand on there. What do you feel? I feel heat. You feel heat? I do. So go into the classic film here. Feel less heat? Yes. Not much. It's not much. It's no. a little bit. This is the ceramic film. Feel yeah, heat. it's significantly less there for sure. Now feel this one. Oh my God, it's, there's no heat. No, I mean, there's still a little bit of heat, but I mean, it's you can definitely tell as you go along. And yeah. I don't have a thermometer, but yeah. maybe a 35% reduction by the time you get to Stratos? 40? I, to me, I'm just... It's about a 60% reduction okay. in heat. Yeah. Right. yeah. Well, it's, it's absolutely noticeable. So this is going to lower your in-cabin temperatures, I would mm -hmm. assume, right? Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. So that's a great example of why you would choose a film like this specifically. In Illinois, most of the weather is shit here. See, this also might be conversely, if you're in the winter, you might want some solar, you might want some sun to warm up your interior. So, you know, depending on where you live, again, it's about the application. You're not trying to sell the highest end film. It's what you want. Right, for your exactly. Car. Yep. Now, obviously you can't feel the heat like I did, but I'm not bullshitting you. There's a huge benefit to the more expensive films in terms of that reduction. But what else do we have in terms of benefits? Glare reduction. Obviously, you wear sunglasses, putting window tint on your car will reduce the, the lights coming in, especially at night, too, when you have all the street lamps and headlights coming at you and everything. It's a huge difference okay. and reduces that glare. All right. What about the front windshield? Because obviously, you're not going to tint your front glass. So how do you deal with that? We actually tint a lot of front glass here. Okay. So there's an actual film, a 70% film, where you won't notice on there, it's pretty much invisible and it blocks, again, 99% UV rays and it blocks a lot of the infrared heat and it makes it almost uh, high definition. It, it does block a lot of that glare that you'll see. Okay, so what's the optical clarity? So obviously you're putting a film over your windshield is gonna change some things in terms of visibility. So like polarized sunglasses, do you see effects from that? So on back windows, even if you wear polarized sunglasses, sometimes you'll see it in back windows without tint. Yes, there is a chance that uh, if you wear polarized sunglasses, you might see a little bit of a rainbow effect to it. Okay. Absolutely. So that's uh, you know one of those fine print things about the film, but maybe for some people the benefits outweigh the possible yeah, negativity yeah. of it's that. Very few people actually notice that. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. So what else do we have? Uh, we have safety. Obviously, if uh, if you get in a car accident, you're going to have these shards of glass that go everywhere. Window tints going to hold that all together. So you're not going to be getting hit with shards of glass in your face or in your eye or something like that. Okay. Safety is a huge one. So there, you can't tell me there's any, any more benefits, Jason. There is. Uh, it reduces fading on the interior. So fabrics, leather, dashboard, and all that stuff. So having a window tint film um, will extend the life to a lot of those materials on the inside of your car. Okay. And I've had, you know, we've seen this. If you're somebody that keeps cars for a long time, they've been out in the sun, um, specifically fabric interiors are yeah. definitely uh, a huge thing. If you're buying a car new, doing this, because if your films are lifetime, obviously you have yep. the support and all that, that's a, a good time to do it right when it's new to prevent or at least reduce that effect of it. Yeah. And absolutely. It's not just for automotive too. A lot of people put window tint in their homes to reduce any, if you have wood floors, you actually see, or your, your couches and everything, you'll see where that sun is all the time. You've seen it before. So you can use your Lumar films, like the clear film, to, to do that for homes. Too, yeah, right? they, they make specialized films to put on, on window tint, on glass. And it's homes, probably more cost effective as well, I would think, because you don't need... Yeah, so, uh, so the difference between um, your car window and a, your at-home window, car windows are tempered. That's why they break in, in shards. So uh, window tint can actually absorb heat and it's fine on tempered glass, but if it's not tempered, which most of the glass in your home is not tempered, it could actually shatter the glass if you put the wrong film on there. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. So if you're somebody that has wood floors, and I've had this as well, where after like five years of that wood floor, it looks great, and then you pull up a throw rug or something, it's like totally mm -hmm. white on the outside. That's a really good thing, and I never even thought about it until you mentioned it. All right, so now that we know some of the basics, let's get into the specific films which ones you would use, which ones you wouldn't based on your application.
So we moved into the office space to show you the different types of films. And there's a lot to this, mm -hmm. more than we can cover in this video, clearly. But I want you to talk about the different levels and darkness levels and all of that with this. Yeah, so when a customer comes in, the first question that we ask them is, why do they want window tint? We want to figure out what type of, because there's lots of different types of window tint here. If they're just looking for aesthetics and privacy, we're gonna sell them a tent like this. This is a dyed film. And this comes in, so there's a lot to explain here. Uh, you'll see these different types of film. We have a VLT, which is visible light transmitted. And that's the percentage that you'll see here. So this is 5%. That means only 5% of light is gonna be let through into the car. Where you have 35%, that's gonna let 35% of the light in. So the lower the number, the darker the tent. Yep, exactly. Okay. And that's kind of confusing because it's reverse of what you would expect. You, you hear 35%, which is the legal limit in Illinois. People think, well, that's really, you know, it's not very dark, but it's actually the opposite. Right, yeah, exactly. And so we talked earlier about UV rejection, infrared light rejection, and then um, the VLTs. You put all that together, it combines a number called the total solar energy reduced, the TSER, and that is this number. So this is the heat rejection number. Uh, it reduces all that UV, the infrared light, and that's all together. Okay, and obviously as you go into different tiers of films, that number goes higher for more tech. Yeah. Would it be protection or just more? Yeah, protection. I mean, so 99% UV protection is with all the films. If you go for the dyed film, you're only gonna get about 22% uh, infrared heat reduction to where the bigger films, the ceramic films, are gonna have 80 up to 97, 98% of infrared heat reduction. Okay, so let's talk about the basics here. If somebody comes in with a Toyota Camry mm -hmm. and they want, what, what's the cost breakdown for a Toyota Camry from the most inexpensive film to the high-end film? Our dyed film is 300 on a four-door sedan. That's our starting price. Uh, our Pinnacle series, which is a ceramic series, is 420. And then we have a dual layer ceramic film, our Stratus, that's our best performing film. That's at 650 for a four door sedan. Okay, so cost is a factor. Obviously mm -hmm. in the econ like a poor economy or cars are more expensive if you're modifying your car. Let's talk about the difference between the films because clearly, you know, you have these different series and every brand of film is gonna be like this. They're gonna right. have the more expensive ones. What are you really getting here and what's the technical difference between the difference, yeah. different films? So construction of the film, you're gonna have different layers. You have, so this is a dyed film. It's gonna have a dyed film layer, adhesive, and then a scratch resistant layer on the outside. As you go up, you have uh, a metalized film. We don't carry metalized films. Uh, they're nice because they actually have a lot more infrared heat reduction, but there has been some issues with them blocking signal, signal interference and all that. So you don't see the metalized films a whole lot. You also get a little bit of a mirror effect okay. that people don't really like. Um, moving up into the ceramic series, that's where they start adding additional layers on. They'll have that dyed layer and then they'll add a ceramic layer, which blocks all that infrared heat. Okay. So on your Pinnacle series, you can see up those numbers up there, you get 50, 55, 60% of total heat reduction. Okay. Move into a film like Stratos, they add a dual layer. So it's two layers of ceramic on there. All right. And is the thickness between the films go up as you go through here? Yeah, yeah, these are one mil thick. When you get into the Stratos, it's uh, 1.5 mils. So it does get a little thicker as you go up into quality. Okay, so we were talking about this. Does it improve the scratch resistance? Like obviously, so this is a film on the inside part of the car, yeah. correct? Yeah. So if I go and you know hit my head or like my fingernails against it, is the thicker film more scratch resistant than the No, lower? they're all gonna have the same scratch resistant layer on the outside. All you right. know, we have a lot of people who take their seat belts off and they'll get chips in it or rings or whatever. Another unique factor is the warranty with these. So all these films are 100% warranted against fading, peeling, bubbling, or turning purple. 
when you get into the ceramic films, we actually have a no-fault warranty. So it's a one-time no-fault warranty. Anything that happens with the film will replace it. Not only us or anybody else in the country in the Lumar network. Okay, so that's why it's built in some of the cost of the higher end films is yep. that. Okay, yep. which, which is good because if you do, and I've had cars like this where I'm like a monkey, I throw my seatbelt off <laughs> and it just totally annihilates the film. It would cover something like that one time. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yep. All right, so I think the last thing to talk about is kind of how you would install these, the process of installation, potential mistakes, um, the difficulty and how it's done. So now you've heard everything, or almost everything, and it's time to get to the installation process and how all of that works. So I'm with Jason in front of their giant plotter, and this is a mostly computerized process. Yeah, yeah. so we're gonna put the car into the system and this is gonna cut out the patterns uh, for the window tint. Here's the window tint. Okay. And this Touch is, it, feel it. Yeah. this is 35%. Yes. And which is our legal limit in Illinois. So the point is, is if you're looking at window tint, your installer should be fully aware of what the legal requirements are. However, you don't have to follow that. You can do whatever the customer asks for, right? Well, technically, I mean, it's not illegal for us to install a uh, window tint that's too dark. It's illegal for you to drive it on the road. And be aware that at least in our area or most areas, police officers have the ability to measure light out or light throughput through the glass so yeah. they can that's how they give you tickets they can test this so don't press your luck specifically if you have a flashy car or you're somebody like me who drives you know 120 miles an hour in a prius <laughs> everywhere and then throws my coffee at police officers so if you're a dick you don't want to over tint your car is my point yeah. but let's get started with the process here yeah let's do it All right, Oscar's gonna start by cleaning the window. Obviously, we want the cleanest install possible, so we're gonna clean um, all the seals, all the edges of the glass, and make sure there's not any dirt or debris that's gonna get in between the film and the glass. All right, before we actually install the window tint to the inside of the window, we put it on the outside because we have to conform this pattern to the window. Each window will have a little bit of curvature to it. You can see the extra film here. These are called fingers, so we're actually gonna shrink this pattern to conform to that window and then we can install the window. All right, shrinking the window to conform to this windshield. And this is a pretty tough windshield because there's a lot of curve to it. After we shrink it, this is a layer, a protective layer that will actually pull off. It has adhesive underneath, and then we, like a big sticker, we stick it to the inside of the window. Big ass sticker. So we just learned more than we probably cared to about the tinting process. <laughs> I learned something about the film that I didn't know. And some of that is like heat rejection. I didn't know the extent of heat rejection. The more you go up in the better quality films. And yeah. then of course, blocking harmful rays from the sun. I kind of knew that, but I didn't know certain parts of it. That's a huge advantage of doing this. What else do people need to know? Um, I think, you know, there's a lot of window tint shops out there installing tint and unfortunately a lot of them are just installing the cheapest tint that they can find. So you see driving on the road where cars are, they have purple tint, they have bubbles all over the place, it's peeling off. So just kind of know what you're getting. Ask questions, uh, know that there's different types of film to put on your car and you have options. Yeah, and I think as I've gotten cars tinted in the past, 
I've gone through that. I'll like, I'll call somebody. It's like somebody got, oh, I, I got my carts in here. Just call them. So I call them. I'm like, how much is it? They're like a 250. I'm like, what well, kind of film? Well, it's, they never really were specific about right. which one it is. You get in and it doesn't tend to last. And I think that's the other part. If you Absolutely. get a crappy window tint done and you have to have it redone, it's the amount of labor to strip all that adhesive off. It's a pain in the butt. So Absolutely. Absolutely. Something else to know. And other than that, I mean, yeah, maintenance is pretty easy. Uh, you're gonna see some moisture in the film for a couple of days, it'll all dry out. We recommend that you don't roll the windows down for two to three days. Uh, cleaning the windows is pretty easy too. You wanna use a dedicated automotive window cleaner that's safe for window tint and it doesn't have any ammonia products in the cleaner. And most of those will say tint safe on yep, them. Yeah, they'll say it right on the can. Okay, well, hopefully this video was somewhat informative. Obviously it's about tint and we could go further in depth into to the chemistry and all the things that go into tint, but that's for a later time. Yeah. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.